999999 with unlimited money, of course, yes. Hello, everybody. Today, I'm going to show you how to use Hack App Data APK to cheat in your favorite Android games or rather safe game edit your favorite Android games. As always, all the links are going to be in the description down below. While you're there, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment for the algorithm or if you have any questions. So. How do you use this app? Well, well, you simply start up the app and you can go to your user apps to modify all the temporary files that your game creates, including, of course, the safe game state of your current game. I'm going to modify Crossy Road today and we're just going to start the game up. You need to start it at least once before you use the app. I'm starting it for the first time, so I'm telling it that I'm 99 years old, which is uh, not fairly accurate, but there you go. And I'm going to have to play through the tutorial. Oing, oing, oing. I died! Right, as you can see, we have six money. So we go into Hack App Data and we choose Crossy Road to modify here. You can look at all the database files, the temporary cache files, and the temporary data storage of your game. Now, this is going to be the hard part. This is going to take some uh, getting used to, some learning to find any files that are actually useful to modify here. Uh, rule is, if your game is an offline game, you will be able to modify your save game somehow. If it's an online game, then you are probably out of luck as the game is storing all the data, including the money and stuff online. Um, if you want to find out more about that, there's a, an article on hackerpad.net about server side versus client side game cheating. Uh, if your game requires the internet, generally speaking, you're better off using hackerpad in order to try and get working cheats. Just simply Google hackerpad or game hacks, go to hackerbot.net and go to Hack Finder in order to find legitimate cheats from legitimate providers, modern APKs, bots, and other kinds of cheating tools that will work for online games. So with that out of the way, this is not an online game. Uh, look for any file that has any kind of safe state or player or preferences or data or and just look at it. Look at it, uh, make sure it's, it's uh, just check, check. You have to search. Uh, the one who searches also is able to find. If you don't search, you're not going to find. So I already know which file I need to edit. It's the player prefs XML. And that's the kind of file you're looking for. Preferences, data, save game, user, and so on. So this has our coins in it. Device coins, as you can see right here. And, we're, and those are at six. Well, that is a huge coincidence because my money is at six. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into hack app data. You're going to modify the value. So 999999 and safe. And what you're going to do here, and that is important. So it has succeeded. Close. Close out the game. Do not go back into the game. Just close the game out. Do not close out hack app data. Leave it running. Okay. So you're going to just restart the game with hack app data running in the background. And now the game is going to accept the modified data as the real data. And you're coming back to the game with da -da 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 the suspense is building. We are anticipating with unlimited money, of course, yes. And then you can continue to uh, embarrass yourself again by being really, really bad at the game, just like me, despite having unlimited monies. Anyways, guys, that is how to use Hack App Data is an extremely nice tool for Android game cheating. It does essentially the same thing as Cheat Droid. For those of you who are familiar with that particular app, you can bo find both at cheatware.net. Simply Google Cheatware, go to cheatware.net, you'll find them both there. Hack App Data is here and Cheat Droid is here. Cheat Droid has ads in it and Hack App Data does not. Cheat Droid is um, slightly easier to use, but the ads make it pretty annoying. So I personally prefer Hack App Data. And if we go to hackerbad.net, if we go to software, um, we will see that they seem to actually agree with us as Hack App Data is at number four and Cheat Droid is at number six because those ads are quite annoying. Uh, again, you can find all the links down in the description while you're there. Please leave a like. 
please, sir, I need all the likes and a comment for the algorithm, of course, or if you have any questions whatsoever, and subscribe to the channel for more game cheating content on Android, iOS, PC, and so on. I will see you guys next time.